in the cabin. I did a poll question on YouTube and the question was, what's your favorite type of snowboard content? And the choices were videos, shorts, podcasts, or live streams. And the clear winner was video format. So here we are, another video. So I'm the one only one oh, phone today. Yeah. Yeah, really slacking second chair, only one phone. The two what is this world coming second. to? Oh my gosh, this is sad. I know. Better step it up. Get out of here extra early tomorrow. No <laughs> choice. <5 a. laughs> yeah, 5 a.m. We're lining up, we're starting the live stream. It's a different scene today up here, 58 degrees, warm, slushy, summer times. Get some slush forming. Go up to the top. Check on Lake Reveal. People chilling in the porch. Black Mountain Lodge. Scanner is out of commission. Get scan at the bottom. You're in business. No scanning at the Lenaway. There is plenty of snow to be had up here still. What do you guys think? Can the basin stay open until the 4th of July once again? If you like this video, you will probably love the science fiction ski and snowboard film my friends and I made called The Battle for First Chair, Opening Day Dreams, Pin Pin 20, available for purchase on Amazon Prime Video, as well as other streaming platforms. The movie was followed up with a sequel book called Snowboarding's Last Stand, The Samurai and the Slingling, also available for purchase on Amazon in the forms of ebook, paperback, hardcover, and audio versions. Thanks for your support. I'm personally hoping for at least a 4th of July closing date or after at Arapaho Basin this season. Sometimes they'll stay open super late and only this top Lenaway lift will be open or the snow will still freeze up at night and extend that season. You may have to download in the Black Mountain Express, but I will be happy with that if they can stay open that late. Snow cat's still pushing snow around. Look at them go. This is the spot where Lake Reveal may reveal itself, but as you can see, nothing yet. Still got to wait for more melting to happen for that lake to form. So the pond skim can begin. Yeah, I think this year will be open 4th of July, no problem. Oh, that would be so awesome. Quickie Wax. Yeah, tell me about Quickie Wax. Quickie Wax, it's made locally. It's been made for more than a decade in the Vale area. Uh, Ski Patrol uses it at Vale, Viva Protection, Keystone, and A Basin. Uh, try it out, you'll probably like it. It's got no additives. It's totally pure hydrocarbonated wax. Where do we find it? It's 100% organic. Oh, where do you find it? You can find it online or you can buy it in, in stores. Um, you got to go to the Quickie Wax website to see what stores there are, but it's all local in the Vale Edwards area. Cool. 
Yep, ship around. The yep, we'll ship it anywhere in the lower 48. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Anything else we need to know about Quickie Wax? Um, all I can say is uh, I've had friends try it and they won't use anything else. Awesome. Down here at the bottom, it's sloppy. 